me ask you a question. When you think about this, when you think about smartphones, do you think of them as tools or distractions? I mean, if you really think about it, this is like a science fiction fantasy come to life. We all carry these cool pocket-sized supercomputers around with us with access to almost unlimited information, and we use them to avoid boredom. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I documented some of my experience with switching from a smartphone back to a flip phone to kind of avoid some of the distractions in my life, which I've linked up here if you want to go check it out. Uh, spoiler alert, that experiment, well, it's not what I would call fun. But ever since then, I've been really interested in trying to reduce the distractions in my life and using my phone as a tool for getting more stuff accomplished. So here's our take on the top five best productivity apps 2018 edition. At number five is Pocket. Now, have you ever found this like cool link or awesome article online, but you didn't really have time to read it, and then by the time you did have time to read it, you forgot where you even saw it. Pocket allows you to save websites, images, videos, and text, and a whole bunch of other stuff for later reading. The reading list that you create is synchronized across all of your devices, including your web browser on your desktop, and Pocket integrates with a ton of other apps, including Twitter. With Pocket, I can stay focused on a task by saving a distracting link for later reading instead of context switching to something that probably isn't even that important right now. Yes, Reddit, I'm talking specifically about you. It's free, it's available on pretty much every platform you can think of, and it's even integrated natively into Mozilla Firefox. At number four, we have If This Then That, or if now we've talked about if this then that on this channel previously and it continues to be one of the most awesome tools out there for automation and just enabling cool extra features that you didn't even really know that you wanted you ever lose your phone while it's on vibrate have you ever killed your battery because you accidentally left bluetooth and wi-fi on with if this then that you can download and enable applets which automatically take action when certain conditions are met if this happens, then do that. So for your lost phone, you can now text a keyword like lost phone to your phone and it will turn the volume up to maximum for you. When your battery is low, if this, then that will turn off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi or automatically change your wallpaper to whatever the highest rated post is on our wallpaper subreddit or notify you when the space station is gonna be directly over your head or log all of the different Wi-Fi networks that you log into throughout the day. The point is there's just a ton of extra features that this tool enables and the fact that it's free is almost mind-blowing in its own right. If you're interested at all in automation, you gotta start with this tool. It's also available on Android and iOS. And number three is Evernote. Now, ideas comment pretty much any time and they rarely, if ever, wait for you to write them down. And I'm notorious for forgetting stuff, so this is where Evernote really helps me out. Evernote is a cloud-based note-taking tool with a bunch of additional features. At its most basic level, you can take notes on your phone and then edit them later via the web user interface on your desktop. Now this means that I can write down the core of an idea while I'm on the go on my phone, and then once I get back home and I have more time to further develop that idea, I can do so from the comfort of my desk. You can also organize notes into notebooks and add tags to help organize notes. It integrates into If This Then That, it's free, and it's available on both iOS and Android. I mean, really, what else could you want out of a tool? And number two is Todoist. Now, I juggle a lot in my life between professional work life and this channel and my family. So needless to say, I forget stuff, like all the time. Now, if this sounds like you, check out Todoist, which is a task organizing app that lets you keep track of all the things that you need to get done. You can organize tasks by project, like work and home. You can assign due dates and you can get reminders for when tasks are coming up. You can share projects with friends and family so that they can contribute and complete tasks as well, and even get statistics and visualizations that show your progress. It integrates with other apps like If This Then That. It's also free and it's available on both Android and iOS. Finally, at number one, the king of the hill, the top of the stack, the application that I get more use out of than almost anything else, without question, LastPass. Here's the thing, passwords suck. We all know that we should do better about using complex passwords and changing them regularly, but if you make them complex enough to be secure, then chances are you're probably also not gonna remember it either. LastPass is brilliant because it allows you to save one single password to log into the application itself and then save all the rest of your passwords inside of LastPass. You remember one password, LastPass remembers all of your others. 
You can classify and organize your accounts, which is a huge hidden benefit because now you're also keeping track of where you are registering accounts in case that service is ever compromised. LastPass even lets you generate complex secure passwords that you can securely share with other LastPass users for shared accounts. Password management tools like LastPass have saved me just an enormous amount of time by keeping track of all that account information for me. And at zero dollars, it's an insanely good deal available on both Android and iOS. So what do you think? Do you use any of these tools? Which one is your favorite? Did we forget your favorite tool on this list? Leave a comment down below, let us know what you think, and I will see you all next time.